This is one of the uh, commercial products we are testing. Scientists want to know if sounds like this will bother pests like these. We have to be extra careful with bed bugs. Casey Icheraldi is studying and keeping track of 10 bed bugs at a time. That number's important because one missing female can lay 400 eggs in her lifetime and cause a lot of discomfort. I was sitting down in the hallway in the carpets and that's where they like to, to hide out. Stefano Padilla didn't know until the next day that he was bitten by bed bugs. While he's itching from bites, scientists are scratching for answers. We give them a choice to remain in, in an area that has the sound or flee to an area without the sound. Entomology so professor Dr. Rich Hofstetter wants to know what makes these blood suckers tick. At Northern Arizona University's School of Forestry, he's been successful in changing the behavior of bark beetles outside by blasting them with their own manipulated sounds. Now he's taking his sonic warfare inside. It's possible they may be attracted to snoring noises or uh, human uh, footsteps or breathing. Bed bugs are a global problem. They like to be together and they'd like to be with you at night, hiding in places like the creases of mattresses during the day. They like texture and they like warmth. They also are a chemotaxic, so they are attracted to odors associated with humans. And this could be carbon dioxide or sweat um, or anything or perfumes or anything that it's associated with, with humans. To avoid taking bed bugs home to your home, keep your bags off anything with fabric, carpets, bedspreads, sofas, and always use the luggage rack. You know, when they feed on people, sometimes there's a little bit of blood that, that's involved with that, and so that'll be on sheets. They'd like a blood meal every day, but these guys can go months without food. And although he hasn't found it yet, Hofstetter is hopeful he'll discover a sound way to say good night to bed bugs. Bonnie Stevens for NAZ Today.